Please welcome to the stage founder and chairman of Intentional Media, Bob Caruso. So glad that you're here today. I hope you had a great first day of SOCAP, did we? I love it. Well, we are really excited for SOCAP 18 and to start the next decade of our journey. We want to thank all of you, the six of you that are here, for, uh, for everything that you do for SOCAP. It's amazing. I just want to start by thanking all of you, uh, because none of this could happen without all of your help um, and inspiration and motivation. And I have to thank our amazing team at SOCAP and at Intentional Media for all the amazing work that they do throughout the year. We host dozens and dozens of events all throughout the country, put out really inspiring media, and it kind of all culminates here at SOCAP. Um, so thank you guys so much for all of your incredible work. I also have to thank all of our amazing partners and sponsors and community members for all of their enthusiasm and encouragement and incredible generous support uh, for all of what we do. It's, uh, it's really amazing. And all the wisdom that they provide um, is really incredible. And what the work that they do is truly inspiring. Um, I also want to give a special thanks to Lindsay Smalling. Many of you know Lindsay. Lindsay is, uh, is truly the SOCAP Gorilla Glue that holds everything together. Um, you know, her incredible work and dedication not only to SOCAP, but to this industry more broadly is really inspiring. And I couldn't be more proud to have Lindsay as my partner. We're also so excited, uh, and you can join me in congratulating her on becoming the CEO of SOCAP this year. And we know... Uh, we know that she will continue to rise to this challenge as she has risen to every other challenge in the past. So can I get a show of hands? How many people are at SOCAP for the first time? Okay, that's awesome. And how many people have been to SOCAP five or more times? Awesome. Well, we really appreciate it. So before we dive into intentional media, I just want to show you this quick video. Well, so can we all just turn to our neighbors and tell them, be intentional. I know it's 8.30. We could do a little bit better than that. Come on. Let's try it again. Be intentional. Awesome. Well, like the video says, at Intentional Media, we aim to turn moments into movements and thoughts into actions. Intentional Media is a family of brands that's working at the intersection of money and business and meaning to really build a more inclusive economy. We're charged um, to catalyze a transition of a new economy where we ensure that our social and our environmental and our economic systems all thrive together and for everyone. And we want to leverage the intimacy and the amazing relationship building um, that happens at physical convenings, as well as the power of storytelling content and media to help connect and to educate and to inspire millions of people to act much more intentionally about how they invest and how they, how they consume and how they run their business for greater good and with a greater sense of purpose and in a much more inspired way. So, you know, in starting uh, some prep for this, I was reading the Gin Roadmap Report, which I don't know if any of you are as dorky as I am, but it's actually pretty good. Um, and there's a few thoughts that I wanted to share. Throughout history, pioneering leaders have led ambitious movements. They've challenged the status quo. They've sought transformational change in the way the world operates. 
And many of those impact pioneers are in this room today or will be on stage this week. And they've led this amazing impact investing movement over the last decade. And while the industry has achieved so much incredible growth and has really achieved widespread interest, it's still only generating a fraction of the impact that we know is possible and that is really required to address all these global challenges that are affecting all of our communities and our planet. And the current pace of the industry and the trajectory that the industry on is on, while it's impressive, it's not going to be enough to solve these global challenges. So at Intentional Media, we want to help all of you drive bold and inclusive and innovative action to usher in a new economy where capital and businesses align to address some of the most critical issues of our time with the goal of driving a much more inclusive economy. And we need a future, we need to envision a new future where impact and intentionality is embedded and embodied in every business decision, in every investment decision, and in every consumption decision that we make. We were so lucky in 2016 to have the opportunity to buy SOCAP and to re-envision what's possible with an inflow of capital and an inflow of ideas and some new people. And earlier this year, we launched Intentional Media. And Intentional Media, as you can see, uh, is a family of five uh, brands that each address a different market segment and demographic. And our family of brands include SOCAP, SOCAP 365, Conscious Company Media, Good Capital Project, and What Will It Take Movements. And it's so important that each of our brands has its own distinct voice and engages with their audience in a very um, genuine and authentic way. We cannot have a one-size-fits-all message because we truly need to meet people where they are um, and where they are on their own impact journey. So uh, I just want to show our amazing team, uh, our executive team that we have at Intentional Media. Hopefully that comes up on the slides. There we go. Uh, you know, we are so extremely proud of our total lack of gender diversity. Uh, all of our brand CEOs are women, uh, which we're so excited about. Um, every brand is run by an amazing woman CEO. Uh, and 75% of our intentional family um, uh, is women-led. So we are really, really proud of that. So with the, with the launch of Intentional Media, we want to bring together this very fragmented and subscale impact economy and really tell all of these beautiful stories that exist out there today. Because so often, the most influential people out there are the ones that are least heard and least known. You know, Darren Walker, the head of the Ford Foundation, recently said, awe-inspiring awe work and storytelling of such work is the key to promoting greater compassion. And building and rebuilding uh, bridges in our society between cities and rural counties, between the poor and the prosperous, and between the past and the present and the possible. Because when we do impactful work, we hold the mirror up to ourselves and our society. We not only experience our shared humanity, but we arrive at our shared obligation to humanity, which is our connection with and obligation to all people who suffer and struggle and seek to be heard. And that's really one of our main goals at Intentional. So in order to create this future that we all collectively and desperately want, and we can ensure that all voices are heard, we need to engage and connect with people that are far beyond the boundaries that our current industry engages with. We need to create compelling emotional connections through media and powerful storytelling content to recapture the sense of awe and re-spark and rekindle this excitement that we had um, before that honestly we've lost a little and we can't come at this with a sense of despair or with a sense of defeat. And we need to encourage people to stop talking about what's normal and what's the status quo and what's accepted. And we need to start talking about what is possible. Anyone? All right. <laughs> so in this future that we all want, it should be totally unacceptable to make any business or investment or consumption decisions without regard for impact on people and on, and on the planet. And as we and the industry embark on our next decade, we need to grow our community. 
We need louder and stronger voices, and we need to engage much more mainstream audiences to amplify all of the amazing work that's happening out there in the field so we can accelerate this positive change that our communities and our planet so desperately need. We also need to connect and grow our big tent. We need to aggressively seek out and partner with those who may not see themselves as part of our community. And as Lindsay so eloquently says, a big tent accelerates the market so much faster than a velvet rope. And that convening valuable strangers creates unlikely allies. And I don't know about all of you, but I think in this country and in this world, there's nothing we need more than unlikely allies. So intentional, intentional media is designed to amplify your stories and your great work and your impact and your research and your challenges and your insights. We need to continue to act um, by example. We need to live intentionally in everything that we do. And we need to keep pushing. And we can't agonize about the problems. We need to, event, we need to organize around the solutions because the progress that the world needs so desperately to end poverty, to preserve natural resources, to halt climate change, to create more gender and racial equity, and to build a much more equitable and sustainable future deeply, deeply depends on it. So I want to close with this African proverb. If you want to go fast, go alone, and if you want to go far, go together. And we want to go far, and we want to go really, really far, and we want to go far together with you. And it is time. And we are so excited, and we know the next decade holds even more promise than the first. So thank you all so much. <laughs>